So in the next example, we are going to be looking at a little bit advanced of the date if function. So in this particular example, we have several scenarios. So we are going to be starting with the scenario one. So scenario one says what fill in D for the third argument to get the number of days between two dates. So you start at equal to date diff. So make sure you type in the function correctly, else it will bounce up with an error. So the start date, comma, then the end date, then comma. So if you cannot see my formula here, come up to the formula bar and you can see it clearly. Then instead of typing in Y, as we had before, so now you type in what D, then close up the string and close it up and you hit enter. So what this is trying to tell you is that the difference in dates between the sixth day of this particular month, 2016, and this particular date is 2,575 days. Is that right? So this is scenario one. We have other scenarios where the display result is in months. Is that right? So how do you do that? It's still the same formula, but you are now replacing the third argument with what? M. Is that right? So please permit me. Okay, let's just do it completely. I wanted to copy that and replace it with M to be faster. But let us just do it completely. Date if, sorry, date diff. All right. Then open your bracket, your start date, comma, your end date, comma. Then speech marks M. Close, close the brackets and hit enter. So the difference between these two dates is what? 84 months. Remember, I have 12 months in a year and I have 24 months for two years. So 48 months for four years. So you should do the math, all right? What it eventually gives you. Now we go ahead to look at scenario three. It says what? Fill in Y for the third argument to get the number of years between the two dates. So just like we've seen before now, equal to date diff, make sure I type in correctly, the end, the start date, comma, the end date. So what you can do now is to go ahead to support our channel by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also like and share the video. Is that right? So once you are through, you hit comma. So the difference between the two dates is what seven years. So we'll go ahead to look at the fourth scenario, the fifth scenario, and the sixth scenario. So with this, you can be sure to attempt any form of work related to date diff. That's okay. So the starting date is this comma the end date is this comma then the scenario is what yd and it says what the difference between the days of start date and end date the years of the dates are ignored all right so you put in what yd so the years of the dates are ignored so close up then hit enter so this shows what 18 days so the years of the dates are ignored so the difference between the start date and the end date in days all right so the next one is basically the same so equal to md so i'm going to change this to what md so what this says what the difference between the days in start date and end date the months and years of the dates are ignored all right so you can just quickly do this yourself is all right so rarely do people use this i don't know why they are not very popular but you can just learn it because you never can know when you will need it is all right so go to date diff open up your brackets start date comma end it comma ym ym Close it up, close it up, hit enter. And this shows what? The difference between the months in start date and end date. The days and years of the are ignored. So this showing zero. So supposing you now go ahead to increase this end date to, let's say, seven. 
so you can see that it is true so to some extent some of these scenarios like the ymmd and uh, yd actually have bugs okay especially with the recent versions of microsoft office suit that is like a kind of disclaimer from the microsoft website official website is okay so you notice that the difference between seven and four is actually three but you are seeing two here sometimes the result is actually approximate value so hope you got value in this video in this video just like uh, as a recap we are able to look at the date diff excel function and we will to see how to cool. use the date if to find the difference between two dates and our answer displayed in years in months and in days using different scenarios if you got value in this video go ahead to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button turn on your notification bell icon so that you'll be the first to get notified when we release videos like this on your screen is a video that shows you how to use microsoft excel keyboard shortcut case go ahead to watch it right away excel made easy